What if I told you that right now, in the heart of West Africa, one man is breaking the chains of energy dependency and powering homes with the wind? What if I told you that free electricity is no longer a dream but a real spinning turbine of hope born in Burkina Faso? This isn't a fantasy, and it's not imported from Europe or China. It's made African designed, led by none other than the revolutionary mind of Ibrahim. In a bold, unprecedented move, President Ibrahim has unveiled Africa's first ever home built wind generator, a project designed and engineered by local experts that can power homes entirely for free, no fuel, no foreign aid, no debt. Here at a Frick Vibe News, we are witnessing history in real time. This isn't just a windmill. This is a declaration. A declaration that Africa can power itself. A declaration that Burkina Faso will no longer beg for light it will. Generate it. And today we bring you the full story behind the invention shaking Africa's energy table. How it works, who built it, how many homes it powers, and why it's sending shockwaves through every Western energy corporation watching from afar. This is more than just electricity. This is the spark of an African energy revolution. Welcome to a Frick Vibe News where African pride meets African power. Let's dive in. Despite Africa's vast natural resources, over 600 million Africans live without reliable electricity. The Sahel region, particularly Burkina Faso, has suffered. Years of energy blackouts, over-reliance on expensive imported fuel, and political interference in energy sovereignty. Generators choke neighborhoods with fumes, rural villages go dark after sunset, schools cancel evening classes, clinics struggle to refrigerate vaccines. Energy poverty isn't just inconvenient, it's dangerous. Multinational corporations, IMF-controlled policies, and corrupt contracts have long forced Africa to import light while exporting its future. That's the reality President inherited when he rose to power, button like his predecessors chose innovation over dependency, and instead of looking to the West for solar scraps, he turned to the skies to the wind to the power of nature itself. In early 2024, under S. Directive, a team of local engineers, farmers, and university students from Ouagadougou Polytechnic came together with a challenge. Design a wind generator that can power a typical home, using 100% local materials and make it free to operate. After six months of experiments using salvaged motors, recycled aluminum, and iron rods, they did it. The prototype nicknamed Tagbara, meaning the wind of freedom in, was completed in March 2024. It stands 3.5 meters tall, weighs 120 kilograms, and uses dual rotor wind turbine blades that can rotate at low wind speeds as low as 8 kilometers per hour perfect for Burkina Faso's dry and semi-arid zones. Here's what makes it special. Zero fuel required can power three minus for low energy homes or one larger household lifespan of 10 minus 15 years with basic maintenance cost of production. $280 made entirely in Burkina Faso. This is not some prototype stuck in a lab. This is a working, scalable, and life-changing invention now being rolled out in villages across the country. In the rural village of Zorgo, 50 kilometers from the capital, Residents watched in awe as technicians installed their first wind generator. One resident, Maryam Tambura, a 37-year-old single mother of three, shared with a Frick Vibe News. For the first time in my life, my children are reading under electric light. I don't have to spend money on kerosene. My phone is always charged. I feel like I've stepped into the future. The Tagbara wind units are empowering rural women, improving education reducing fire risks from candles and lanterns, and saving families up to 12 per month on fuel and lighting costs a significant amount for rural households. In just two months, over 850 households across six provinces now use the wind-powered system, while other nations chase contracts with foreign energy giants. Is empowering local ingenuity. The wind generator program is part of his Light for All initiative, which aims to Electrify 50% of Burkina Faso's rural homes with clean energy by 2026 train 5,000 youth in renewable energy installation and maintenance. Establish three manufacturing hubs for wind turbines in Faden Agurma, Bobo Diolasso, and Ouagadougou. All of this is funded without IMF loans, without foreign consultants, and without surrendering a single watt to multinational corporations. If we can build our own weapons, our own farms, 
our own schools, why not our own power? Ibrahim, 2024, this is not just energy policy. This is economic resistance. This is technological pan-Africanism. The wind generator, Tagbara, operates using a dual-blade rotor made from recycled metal ADC motor repurposed from old car alternators. A charge controller that regulates battery power, a 12V24V battery bank that stores energy for night, use LED lighting system and phone charging ports it can power, up to six LED bulbs, two mobile phones, one small TV, a ceiling fan, a radio system, and it costs virtually nothing to run after installation. Maintenance is handled by local technicians trained through community programs sponsored by the government. This isn't just a technical breakthrough, it's an infrastructure revolution for the masses. President has announced an ambitious plan to install 100,000 wind turbines by 2026. Build Burkina Faso's first renewable energy research institute export the wind generator model to Mali, Niger, Togo, and Benin through AES block cooperation with support from local universities, vocational schools, and retired electrical engineers. Burkina Faso is becoming Africa's blueprint for self-generated energy, and with the international spotlight growing, countries from Ethiopia to South Africa are inquiring about how to replicate the model. As E's model spreads, some Western observers aren't he happy. Multinational energy firms that once monopolized African grids are now watching as Burkina Faso breaks free from energy dependency and teaches others how. A confidential EU policy report leaked in July 2024 expressed concern that the decentralization of African energy supply may weaken international influence over the region's development agenda. Translation. The more Africa builds its own turbines, the less it needs their contracts. A Frick Vibe News has learned that private lobbying firms are now targeting African governments with pressure not to adopt unverified or non-Western energy systems, but isn't backing down, in his own words, let them fear our wind, because with every rotation of these blades, we are cutting the cords of colonial control. What makes this energy movement even more powerful is how deeply youth-driven it is. Across Burkina Faso, Thousands of students are now learning how to build their own wind turbines, thanks to workshops led by university lecturers and local artisans. Wind lab innovation competitions in secondary schools government backed many grants for young inventors in one inspiring case. 16-year-old student Isuf Sawadogo built a miniature version of the wind generator to power his school's classroom. His reward? A scholarship from the President's Renewable Dream Fund. This is the future is building not just with machines, but with mines. From the northern town of Kaya to the southern region of Gawa, citizens speak with pride and gratitude. Bubakar. Teacher, I teach under steady light now. No more candles. My students can dream beyond the dark. Awa. Grandmother, we used to eat before sunset. Now we dance past nightfall, with wind lighting our smiles. Ismail Zongo, local technician. For the first time, I fix a machine that gives, not takes. I fix the wind. This is more than electricity. It's dignity. It's life. What has built is not just a machine. It's a symbol. A symbol that Africa can invent. Africa can build. Africa can power itself. This single wind generator has sparked a wildfire of self-belief and positioned Burkina Faso as a leader in renewable grassroots energy. Here at Afric Vibe News, we don't just report what's happening, we report what's transforming Africa, and make no mistake, Burkina Faso's wind generator is not just spinning blades, it's spinning. Hope, President Ibrahim, has proven once again that with the will of the people and the wisdom of the land, Africa doesn't need permission to rise. So the next time someone says Africa is in the dark, tell them, the wind has changed direction. This has been a Frick Vibe News, powering the African voice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this story far and wide. Until next time let Africa rise, and let the wind carry our light.